Hello, everybody. And welcome to The Hive, Episode 6. Like Return of the Jedi. I see what you did there. See what I did? You must. Okay, Yoda. Well, what do we have for everyone today? Well, I'm a little distracted right now, to be honest. Well, what are you distracted by, a wise Jedi? Let me explain. Ms. Sanchez's kids are currently designing their own personalities in form of cardboard sculptures. Well, let's go see what they did. The abstract sculptures in the Hall of Champs are pieces that students created using two different characteristics of their personalities. I'm doing a uh, cardboard sculpture of nothing, nothing. I'm letting my mind take over and I'm building the sculpture out of cardboard. Look, just this alone is more than three inches. Look, I'm gonna put something right here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna add on to it, buddy. This is like a base. The students kind of did research and thought about the characteristics that each of them have and then chose two opposing to create different shapes and lines. So they took two contrasting characteristics and combined them to create an abstracted work. Just like cutting up cardboard and folding it and then you can spray paint it and then you glue it onto this and make like a, what's it called? abstract art. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm trying to connect this this little bridge. Here look. Let me bring it closer for the camera. I'm trying to connect this. Wait, this is gonna look like a little wave. Uh, it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look sick. Alright, trust the process. Trust the process. Quite a design over here. Uh, we got spikes. We got all types of shapes and lines. You know, <clears throat> we had to follow a rubric. Uh, this rubric right here <clears throat> shows all the traits. You know, all my sketches, all my ideas, and I tried to, you know, just put it on this beautiful sculpture right here. You know, it represents what I'm thinking and uh, how I'm feeling. There. That is pretty cool. You guys should head down to the Hall of Champs to see if you can guess whose cardboard structure belongs to who. Guess them, you should. So we're doing this all of show, cool. So what is next? Well, let's get serious for a minute. What's one Saturday of every month and can feed up to 200 families? Oh, well, I know, but I'm gonna let you tell them. Tell them, you must. Well, he's referring to the GraceWorks Food Drive, which in conjunction with the middle school, the Fairview High School, Jerry DC, helps feed hundreds of families every month. They showed up bright and early to pack cars full of great free food. And I mean like shopping carts full of food. Let's take a look. I'm Melissa Carter from GraceWorks Ministries. We're passing out food to at least 200 families today. Once a month, a big 18-wheel comes that is packed with food. At 7 till 12, we have GraceWorks, which is a food drive that we help to be able to give back to our community, and we give almost $100,000 back to our community, which is just amazing. So over the years of us doing GraceWorks, we fed over 4,000 families in the JHC community. And it makes us feel so great about ourselves because we're giving back to the people that we know and the, like our friends and our family. So we've done like a total of like over 39,000 community service hours since 2016. So I just want you to think on that for a minute of what your work today is going to mean, feeding 200 families, which equates to, you know, a, maybe a thousand people. It's just, it's so fulfilling and it makes us so happy because we're able to help everyone. It's really cool to see what just a few hours of volunteering can do for an entire community. And it's great to see that if you just need a little bit of help, you don't have to look very far. Mm, very true. But speaking of not looking very far for food... Miss Laird organized a massive egg hunt across the entire school the other day. That is right. She and some of the faculty and staff hid over 3,000 eggs for you guys to find. And if you were a lucky student, you also found a golden egg that you got to give to a teacher of your choice. Well, let's see what she has to say about it. We 
were just so excited about doing something fun for everybody in the school, just to kind of liven things up a little bit. So we decided that we would completely take the entire school by storm with some plastic eggs with some fun things inside. About 3,000 of them actually, plus 20 golden eggs with some different things inside. So there's gonna be some coupons hidden that can go to teachers. So make sure that you pick your favorite or just maybe a teacher that might need one just to liven things up for them. Are you ready? And go. They're gonna be all over the school. So we're gonna meet in our jacket times, over in the cafeteria, the aux gym, or the main gym. And then teachers and students are just gonna get after it. And all together, we're just gonna get released after we go over the rules one last time. Uh, and if there's any discrepancies, we're going rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Nothing like starting off your money all hopped up on sugar. Get it? Hopped like, like a bunny? Because they were little eggs, like, you know, like... <laughs> Funny that wasn't. Uh, remember to help others. Expressing yourself, keep doing. And always remember to... Be, be nice. nice. The saga continues. We are